Hey traders, today we are going to be talking about consolidation breakouts. Now, if you've been around trading for any length of time, you've definitely heard of consolidation breakouts. But what are they? Well, a consolidation breakout, as you can see on the screen, is an area in the market that has been tested multiple times as resistance or multiple times as support, and the market breaks through. The breakout portion of consolidation breakouts happens. Now, even though you've heard of consolidation breakouts, possibly even used them in your trading, tell me this, has it really helped you improve? Has it helped you become a profitable trader? If you answered no to that question, then you want to stick around for the rest of this video because in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a concept such as consolidation breakouts into an actual strategy. We're going to talk about creating a full strategy together based around consolidation breakouts. We're going to talk about actually creating a trading plan around that strategy. And by the end of the video, you are going to have a complete grasp of how to trade consolidation breakouts for profit in the Forex market. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe by clicking the button below the video to the right hand side. Join the over 170,000 trader community we currently have here at the trading channel. Make sure that you follow us on the socials, links are in the description and I'll see you guys directly after. Welcome back. Let's dive right in. What we're going to look at first is a trade we actually sent out an email for, also placed recently in the EAP training program using consolidation breakouts, exactly like you're going to learn to do in today's video. So what I'm going to do is post a screenshot on this side of the screen, I believe, and that screenshot is of the email we sent out to traders explaining that we were looking at this specific trade here on the pound Swiss that we're looking at on the chart now. And what we're going to do is throughout the talking about this trade and breaking it down I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how to use consolidation breakouts in order to make profit so in this specific case on the pound swiss this was a consolidation breakout because we have a market that pushed down to a support level pushed back up created a resistance level right around 1.3166 and if you'll notice at this level we consistently once twice and for a third time found resistance here at this level now this is one of the first rules you need to have in place in order to consider something a consolidation breakout. We need the consolidation to happen first. So that has already happened here in this specific case. Now something that I add that adds extra confirmation is rising support levels. This little ascending wedge pattern that it created here on the pound Swiss added confirmation for me that this was going to be a good trading opportunity, at least based on my rules. Now, so we see that we have our three tested level of structure resistance and for consolidation all it needs two tests if i have two tests of resistance then that equals a level of consolidation a resistance level that i'm looking for a breakout above now what's what's going to happen next and then what we're going to do is break this trade down to show you this is we have our rising support levels and then all of a sudden we get this breakout right we'll go from this support level we get this nice breakout now just knowing this knowing that we can see breakouts from uh, support levels along with rising, I mean, resistance levels along with rising support levels, that doesn't help you in your trading. So what will, what will help your trading? What will help your trading is creating a strategy around this, which is what we're going to do today. After this breakout, what, what do you want to do? Well, for me, the rules I've created for consolidation breakout patterns is after this breakout, I want to wait for the market to pull back and at least touch that previous resistance level. So that previous resistance level around 1.3166 has to be touched. Now, even with that information, you're still, you don't, you don't have a strategy. You have two different conditions. And if you've been following the channel for a while, how do you create a strategy? You use conditions mixed with entry reasons. So for the sake of this video, what we're going to be doing is using a close above candle as a entry reason. Now, what does that mean? Let's go over a close above candle. Let's say this is candle one. A close above candle means nothing more than the fact that the next candle closes above the high of the previous candle. We'll use a close below candle for shorting opportunities, close above candle for long opportunities. So in the case of the pound Swiss on the trading opportunity we're looking at right now, we have our conditions met. What are our conditions? A level of resistance for long trades that has been tested at least two times. This level has been tested three times. We need to see a breakout of that level. Boom, we get the breakout. Then what do we need to see? A pullback that touches 
our 1.3166 or the resistance level that's been tested multiple times. After that, what are we looking for? Let's zoom in here. Remember the entry reason is that close above candle. So if we zoom in and we look at this pullback we had, this pullback comes down, pushes down to our area of interest, our resistance area that had just been broken, and then we start to push up. When do we get a close above candle? Well, once we touch this level, this is not a close above. None of these are closing above the highs of the previous candle, are they? None of these, none of these, none of these. Wait a minute though, here, after this candle, what do we get? Well, if this is the high of that candle, the very next candle obviously closes above that high. So, in, for the sake of this video and the strategy you're gonna learn today, what we're looking for are the conditions we just talked about, level of structure that's been tested at least twice as resistance, breakout of that level, added confirmation, can be rising support levels. After the breakout of that level, a pullback to that level and an entry reason being something like, and you can use your own entry, whatever you want to use for the for today's examples, we're gonna use a close above, an entry reason like a close above candle. Now what we have, and the importance of all this is we have rules that we can take and we can test in historical data to see what our chances of this being a strategy that's profitable are. What are the chances of this winning versus the chances of it losing? If we mess around with a stop loss and the target, how, how good of a risk reward can we eventually get out of it if we're messing with the stops and targets on this specific type of strategy? So right here, that's, that's the reason we entered this trade, right? That's the trade you just looked at on the pound Swiss had a very similar set of circumstances that allowed us to get involved in that trade, which ended up pushing up over the next few days and hitting some pretty massive targets before this exit reason is what I call it before this exit reason I had here. So that was the pound Swiss trade. Now we're going to dive a little deeper into consolidation breakouts. We've already discussed a couple of rules. We're going to take a look at a few more examples on the chart as well here on the pound Swiss. And what we'll do is go ahead and head backwards here and take a look at these examples first. So I have circled them just to save time on the video. And here, what we're going to do is break this, this trade down in the same way as if it hasn't happened yet. So doing so let's say this is where current market price is and we can't see anything to the right of this okay well if that's the case we'll scroll to the right and pretend that price action is happening now we're waiting on a level of structure that gets tested at least twice and right here i can already put a horizontal line at this resistance level the reason is because when i do as you can see we have one test of this resistance this wick right here plus this little pullback gives me enough reason to believe that we now have two tests of that resistance level. With that being the case, we continue and see that we get a third test here and continue. And remember, we're waiting on the breakout. If we keep pushing forward. We now have a second test of this support level down here, continuing to push forward, continuing to push forward, waiting for a breakout. Now, a lot of people, you want a very specific set of rules for consolidation breakouts. So what I'm going to show you is really specific rules. What I do is for the resistance level or support level, whatever structure level gets broken out of, I put a horizontal line at the highest body of that resistance level. And for this specific situation, this is the highest body of that resistance level when it comes to candles. These candle bodies are lower. These candle bodies are lower. These candle bodies are lower. These are slightly lower. So this is in fact the highest body of any candles for this resistance level. And that's the point that I wanna use after my breakout, right? We have our breakout right here. After that breakout, uh, this is the level I'm using is where the highest candle bodies are in that resistance level. And that area is 1.2586. At 1.2586 is where I wanna see a pullback to. Remember our rules, we get a pullback to that level of resistance, then what do we wanna see? A close above candle for the sake of this video. What is this right here? This very large green candle is in fact a close above candle after touching our level of resistance. So this is the, the preparation of creating exact rules for a strategy so you can eventually create a trading plan around consolidation breakouts. Hopefully you're starting to see the power of this if you've heard of or maybe you've been in the situation where you're extremely confused about when to trade, how to trade, where to trade, this deletes all of that confusion by you having exact set in stone rules. And once you get these rules, you can test them in historical data, come up with probabilities. What are your probabilities of winning versus losing? What's your risk to reward, average risk to reward ratio 
on this exact strategy. And again, that takes all the confusion out of trading. And that's what helps create professional and profitable traders. That's what created profitable trading career for me. So here in this example, our entry would be the close of this candle because it's our close above candle. Once we get that entry, as you can see, the market heads higher. Stops and targets, I'll let you figure out on your own. I'm not gonna give you every single thing because that'll keep you from going back and doing the back testing yourself, which is an extremely important part. So there was another example of this consolidation breakout strategy we're creating. Remember, writing down the conditions if you'd like to, you want at least two, two tests of resistance or support. You wanna see the breakout of that resistance or support level your horizontal line needs to go at either the lowest body of a candle you can see on the support level which for this level here it would be right down here because this is the lowest body of that support level it won't you want it to either be the lowest body or the highest body of a resistance level is where your horizontal line goes after the breakout you want to pull back that at least touches that level that horizontal line you placed and then you want to see an uh, entry reason like a close above candle these are set in stone rules you will never be confused again about when to enter the market if you're trading based around this type of rule based strategy hopefully this is becoming a lot easier to understand now and here we have another situation we'll pretend that we cannot see market data let's do that by doing this right here so remember just as before we're going to assume that we can see nothing past this level and that we have current price action right now. With that assumption, we're looking for a level of resistance that's been tested multiple times because remember, we can't see the market, so we don't know what we're really looking for yet. So right here is a level of resistance that was tested multiple times. We now have a level of support based on here and here that's been tested multiple times. We now get a breakout of that level of support okay so now we have a level of resistance tested multiple times we have a level of support tested multiple times we have our breakout of that support we also have our added confirmation of decreasing resistance levels resistance levels getting lower and lower now what are we waiting for we're waiting for a pullback remember we're on the lowest body of the support level which is right here so we're waiting for a pullback that at least touches that and then we're waiting for a close below candle so after this pullback up, what we see is the breakout, the pullback up, and then the, the close below candle doesn't happen until right here. And I'll zoom in to make that a little easier to see. So as we can see here, we get our breakout right here, our pullback up. After we touch this level, this does not, this candle here, this red candle, after the touch, does not close below here. Here's the lows, nothing's closing below those lows until right here and we get our entry candle closing below the lows right here. And for stops and targets, I would suggest testing this with stop losses possibly above the entry candle or possibly above the previous swing high using something like uh, an ATR indicator or something like that. And that was our second example. We're gonna go through one more example. Hopefully you're starting to understand the concept behind creating a trading plan and a whole trading strategy around consolidation breakouts. This is exactly how I trade consolidation breakouts. I hope these rules are highly beneficial to your trading as well. I've already pointed out a few more examples. We're not gonna go through all of them though. I think the concept is pretty easy to grasp after a few explanations and a few examples. So here, let's check this out as if we can't see price action and see what we have. If we push forward here, we have support here. We now have another level of support here. So what we can do is draw a horizontal line, just like this. And our two support levels look like this, one and two. We came down, created support, new level of support. Now we're waiting for a breakout of that support level. You see, we keep testing this level. We've now tested it multiple times. We finally get the breakout of that support level. We're waiting for a candle that at least touches the breakout level, this did, and then waiting for a close below candle. Now, right here, if we're looking at this, we have our, our breakout right here. We have our pullback that at least touches our black horizontal line that was placed at the lowest body of any candle in this support area that's been tested multiple times. We then are waiting for a close below candle, no close below, no close below, no close below, no close below, continuing until right here. This is the low of this candle, this black line I just drew, and we do have a close below that low. So in that specific case, what do we have? We have an entry, and after that entry, what happens? The market continues lower. Now, 
I am pointing out winning trades, but of course, just as any other strategy there is out there, you will have losing trades. Using this, the more important part of this video that I want traders to understand, I want you to understand, is that you having very strict set in stone rules for this strategy, for a strategy like this, for entry, for targets, for stops, for your conditions before you look for the entry reason, such as multiple tests of a level of structure, resistance or support, at least two. After that, waiting for the breakout. After the breakout, having set in stone rules for where, what level you want the market to pull back to and touch. In our case, in a shorting example, the lowest body of that support level, the lowest body of any candle of that support level, after we touch that level, having set in stone rules for an entry and then set your rules for stops and targets and the way now, now we've created a strategy okay after you set your rules for stops and targets you have the rules you need for a strategy you can go back through historical data those are rules that you can test over and over in every situation and you can go through the market and find your probabilities now you can find the probabilities of success with this strategy that is immensely valuable to anyone wanting to become a professional or profitable trader this is a key key step now after you do that I told you we're going to talk about how to create a trading plan around the strategy once you have the strategy you test it go through historical data go through hundreds of trades at least 100 trades per pair per time frame this is not time frame sensitive you can do this on a day trading time frame such as the 15 minute chart the 30 minute chart look out for the spread on lower time frames one hour you can go up time frames if you're someone with a busier schedule daily chart it doesn't matter the concept will remain the same and you're going to go through historical data you're going to test every situation you can find up to at least 100 trades maybe more to give yourself a, a good example of the probabilities that could occur in the future after you have that you need to create a risk management plan around those results that you're comfortable with based on the drawdown that comes with based on the drawdown you see after creating the strategy after actually testing it through historical data the drawdown you see because you will lose trades create a risk management plan around that and that will go towards creating a full trading plan you'll you'll be set to actually start demo trading you'll be set to get you, you'll, you'll have all the information you need in order to actually create a profitable trading plan once you do all of that and do not skip any of those steps because if you do you are diminishing your chances of success a terrible amount a ridiculous amount so remember not to skip any steps as hard as it is to do the back testing as difficult as it is trust me creating rules for this that wasn't easy I spent hours and hours and hours creating rules testing them finding the ones that work best and now I want to give that information to you to provide you with some value and to provide you with the right path to a profitable trading career for you if that was helpful, make sure you click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed here for more free information like this. If you're interested in any paid content, we have a few programs that we run here at the Trading Channel. They are paid programs, but you can find links for them in the description. The EAP Training Program and the Pro Trader Report are our flagship programs. I'll put some comments on the screen of traders like you who got involved in those programs and have since seen incredible results in their trading. The Pound Swiss trade you saw at the beginning of the video also was a part of the EAP training program. We send traders three to five email alerts each week of trades that we plan to take based on the strategies you learn in that course. So feel free to take a look at that. Again, the links for those are in the description. Otherwise, the free stuff, make sure you're subscribed. Follow us on the socials like Facebook and Instagram. Click that like button for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll